welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be his eight month update. He is eight months old today. He's a happy man. I'm just gonna set him here because he really can't be tamed. So he loves the camera. He loves his reflection, seeing himself in the mirror. Loves it, his favorite thing. So let's see, I have a list. So um, he is 17 pounds, 12 ounces. I don't actually know um, his height or his length right now because we haven't had his um, eight month appointment. So I don't really know, I don't know that, but I do know that he is 17 pounds and 12 ounces. He feels much, much, much heavier than that. He is a chunk. He's a chunk. Okay. So he eats a lot. He loves to eat. Um, he's still breastfed. He rarely takes formula, but he does sometimes, usually when he's with um, Sherry. Uh, he loves, his favorite food is probably sweet potatoes. He loves sweet potatoes. He eats it so fast. Loves it. His favorite snack, definitely um, the yogurt melts. Um, I will put like a few different kinds of snacks out on his plate and he always will eat the yogurt melts first. I don't know, he just picks them out and will eat the yogurt melts. He also really likes those like puffs. They look like little mini Cheeto puffs. Um, those are probably another one of his favorites. He loves those also. He obviously loves to move. <laughs> You're such a handsome guy. Oh my goodness. Um, I did think about, Tuff and I kind of thought about um, making our own baby food. There's just been so many different things that you see um, online about how this and that and chemicals are getting into baby food. And it's kind of like really annoying and stressful. So Tuff, when we first started picking out and looking at baby food, like thinking about feeding him some baby food, um, he suggested, I was like, he's like, why don't we just make our own? And I'm like, I don't want to make my own, mostly because I'm lazy. Um, but now I think I really want to make my own. Um, just because it just, it's just a stupid thing to stress about your baby's food. Like, why would someone even, baby, I just don't understand why you have to worry about baby food. So we might, we might um, start making our own. So he knows how to clap. He learned how to clap. Can you clap? Put this down. Put it down. Let go. Can you clap, mister? Hey, look. Yay! Clap. Can you clap? Can you clap for everybody? <coughs> All right. <laughs> he can clap, I swear. He's a full-blown crawler now. Uh... He crawls everywhere. He At first he started with just like scooting, um, scooting around, but he could get where he wanted. Now he he crawls and I really have to, I have to block off Whiskey's kennel. He will throw toys in there and crawl in his kennel and so I have to block that off and loves Whiskey. He's obsessed with dogs, um, or our dogs anyway. He loves Sherry and Andy's dog and he loves our dog. Uh, Whiskey's really good with him, which I was pretty nervous about it first because he's um, so because he's so um, hyper, but he's so calm with him. He, whiskey or Sean can pull and grab at Whiskey um, all he wants, and he just lays there. He can also go from sitting down to crawling. Um, it, that took him quite a while, actually. He was getting really he would get really frustrated. Like he would sit for a while. And then he would start screaming and freaking out because he could not figure out how to go from sitting to laying down so that he could crawl. I've been starting to introduce a little bit of sign language because I've seen so many videos of babies doing sign language and I think it's incredible. Um, I only do a couple things. I'm teaching him um, milk, eat, and more. Those are the main ones that I'm really working on. I know that this is mom and this is dad or vice versa. but. Basically just sticking with those three things because um, I felt like less less would be easier on both of us and 
he can't do them yet, but he smiles and gets excited when, you know, I do milk or when I say eat. Um, my little chicken had his first haircut. Yes, I call him chicken. I don't know how it started or how to stop it, but he's my little chicken. And he got his first haircut. And he was so good. He was such a good boy. He just sat there and let her cut his hair. She sprayed it, got all wet. He just sat there and now he doesn't have that like peak and like that full blown comb over. Now he's just got short even here. Um, he went to the fair for the first time and he got to go on the carousel. And he loved that the first time, wasn't such a fan of it the second time. Um, but I think I enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed taking him more than he, well obviously he didn't really care, he's a baby, but I had a good time watching him at the fair. So he was starting to get this um, rash and he had this rash on his belly and he had it um, on the back of his leg and he's got this little patch on his face and, and a little bit on his back and finally I was like, nothing I was, I was putting on it um, was working. I tried, you know, bag balm and tried like lotions and and things like that and so finally I was like okay maybe I should oh well the night before I called I, I decided I should call the doctor but the night before I called the doctor um I had just gotten him out of the bath and I was changing him and he had these like two little um bumps they almost look like mosquito bites on his butt and I thought that was, I was like oh well, that's weird and didn't really think anything think anything much of it well then I called the doctor the next day and talked about the rashes and she's like well you should probably just bring him in um, better to be safe than sorry so brought him in and he's my doctor was like well not my doctor he ended up going to like the pediatrician that was at this doctor's office um, and he's like well he actually has three rashes going on and I'm like oh great um, the one on his face he said was like a, a contact rash basically from how much he drools and um, things irritating him out that's mom's hair um, and then the one on his stomach and his back he said those are from from most likely from developing sweat glands what <laughs> mostly from developing sweat glands and then he said the one on his back of his leg over here he thought might be ringworm and that totally freaked me out but he said ringworm is usually a little more flaky and oh are you over it are you over it we're almost done we're almost done it's usually a little more okay you can go down here and play it's usually a little more flaky and um we don't have any cats so he he was he wasn't really thinking that that's what that was however the bump on his butt that i wasn't even going to that i didn't even go to the doctor for happened to be infected so he has this little infected bump on his butt and he has to take um, antibiotics for a week and um, when I put the anti give him the antibiotics I gotta give put a little a warm washcloth on his bottom and at first it started to get worse and that totally freaked me out but now I think it's starting to it's starting to get better and yeah yeah at least it's starting to get better so that's good yeah that's good don't have to worry about it anymore um still doesn't have any teeth um he's working on them though we're we're getting them in he's just got these little bumps on the bottom yeah and he is still not sleeping through the night i have no idea how to get him to sleep through the night if anyone has any tips or anything if you could just leave them in the comments below because i really don't know what to do to help him sleep through the night i i'm at a loss i've tried a few different things but nothing seems nothing seems to work so i've tried changing the times he goes to bed and stuff but it doesn't matter what time he goes to bed he's still going to wake up at probably like 6 6 30 latest 7 so I don't really think the time I put him to bed is really going to change. Bless you! Bless you! Bless you! Um, so, yeah. That's basically, that's basically it. Say, 
thank you for watching. Can you please subscribe. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up. To give this video a thumbs up. Say bye. Say thank you.